Good morning, folks. We're watching as one of the solar eruption threats remains stable, anchored to our star, and begins departing the Earth-facing disk. That filament is no longer a threat. Today we've got space weather, sunspot analysis, missing data, extreme weather, windy and null school runs at the end, but we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and we're finding a much calmer last 24 hours on our star, with the primary feature of note being the low-latitude coronal hole approaching Earth-facing center longitudes. Eyes on the trailing sunspot coming in. Do you see the flashing? Well, that's small solar flare activity, but you're going to watch it disappear in this 48-hour run. The Earth-facing quiet has utterly shut down this active region as it turns in, and with it, a significant reduction in solar flaring back to the flat line. The details of this diminished activity require a look at the sunspot magnetism. Despite phenomenal size, we have complete separation and spread of those polarities. Compare that to the significant interaction and crowding while the flares were taking place. As of this morning, no can do on the left, we actually have a better chance for interaction in the smaller leading group to the right. Nothing terrifying though. Solar wind, nice and calm and expected to stay there until the next coronal hole stream arrives. Geomagnetism, well below storm conditions at this time. The culprit for the next stream will be this incoming coronal hole. Its stream has more than a 90% chance of impacting Earth's magnetic field and possibly could produce geomagnetic storms. A quick note on that big quake that struck PNG yesterday. We did set the region on alert due to atmospheric and subterranean signals, but coming to where we expected to see a major OLR anomaly over the region, turns out they just removed it entirely enormous data gap. Anyway, as if that's not bad enough, the flooding out west from the storm battering California is impressive. We're looking at flash floods, mud flows, flooded highways snarling traffic, water rescues, and submerged vehicles. And that is only half the bad weather story in the U.S. More tornadoes dropped in the Gulf states yesterday, including a massive storm close to Billy in our plasma lab down in Georgia. Huge wedge there. Whether it was tornadoes or just the high winds, was a monster event, and those high winds will rip up towards New England today. Tons of good information at your free resource websites. A focus lately has been QuakeWatch.net and the Earthquake Prediction Center. Be sure to take advantage of all your free resources and website members, getting a number of emails commenting on the Green Sahara portion of the latest Fly on the Wall podcast. Definitely check it out if you get time. Got pressure and radar forecasts null school global runs, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.